Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the 2018-19 Doncic edition Panini Prism Basketball. 10 box, half of a blaster case, random team break number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. One spot gets you two random teams each. So, thanks to these folks for getting in. Let's double you up. Bam, right there. All 30 basketball teams are in. And let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a four, six times. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got a lot of basketball in the store, folks. And a lot of opportunities to chase Luka Doncic's in different breaks and Zion's in different breaks. He makes his debut tonight. We'll be watching that t game together here at Jaspies, you and I. Two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three. Four, five, and sixth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After six, we've got the Timberwolves down to my Lakers, who I think are in New York playing the Knicks tonight. They're on their annual uh, Grammy trip, the Clippers, too. They use Staples Center for the Grammy Award, so they are they got to take like a week-and-a-half road trip. It's kind of crazy. But part of playing here in L.A. Bill with the T-Wolves. Thomas with the Bucks, Mark Madsen, you got the Rockets, Chris with the Clippers, John Samuelson with the Magic, Chris with the Bulls, Aaron with the Jazz, Mark with the Celtics, John with the Grizz, TJ with the Wizards, John Sadaro, you've got the Raptors and the Hornets, Mark Madsen, Kings and Heat, John with the Nets, Drew with the Suns and Thunder, Bill with the Mavs, there you go Bill, John with the Pelicans, uh, Pistons and the Trailblazers. Aaron with the Knicks, TJ Bove with the 76ers, John with the Cavs, Ryan with the Spurs, Thomas with the Pacers, Charles with the Warriors and the Nuggets, John with the Hawks, and Ryan Redman, you got my Lakers. All right. So there you go. I'm going to pause the video really quick. I'm going to go grab the case and allow for some trades. Remember, this is 1819 Prism Basketball, so it's Doncic edition, Trey Young, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, no trades. We're done. On Wednesday, the 22nd, Zion Day. Got plenty of basketball on jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to get into the action. There's all the people right here. Thanks for getting in. Here is the fresh blaster case right here. Remember, this is 1819 Prism Basketball Blaster Edition. Let's pop open this case. Let's see which, which 10 boxes we're going to do of the 20. Second half of this case is already in the store. One spot gets you, uh, one spot gets you two teams in this 10 box break. Four, six, eight, ten. So there's ten on this side right here, and that's ten right there. You can kind of see the ten there, the ten there. So one, two, three on the dice roll for the left side, four, five, six for the right side here. We're going to use Zion Duke color die on that one. So once again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be doing the right side here. And this side we will save for next time. I, where's my... Oh, I gave it to Nick. Sorry about that. Where am I going to number these? Maybe. So this is break three. So this will be. We'll mark all of these number four. So we know they're from the same half case. So they don't get mixed up with some of the personal boxes that we have on jazbees.com. Group breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Grand opening this Saturday, the 25th, 
in Hermosa Beach. If you're in the area, we're open from 11 to 8. The stream will be going, the live stream here that you're watching right now will be the usual 2 to 10 West Coast time. to me over there. I have a feeling we'll probably do the other half at some point tonight. All right. So now I'm going to open up all of these at once and then we'll just go through, we'll rip all the packs and we'll go through all the cards all at once. So Zion Day, folks, what, what does everyone think? About his debut, we were just talking about this while the trade window was going on. We were talking about um, various props that maybe we have financial interest in. Blackout says, I like the picks and the props, but uh, really like the rebound one. I, mean, I, I, I guess I was too... I have a Zion prop, at least 17 points at plus 142. And then I have a Zion at least 10 rebounds at plus 337. So, so far, the line has moved in, in such a way that I think I've got the better of the number. But I was kind of too scared to put a double-double prop on there. So hopefully I'll get one or the other. Gilo, what's going on? Gilo thinks that Zion will only get a good Duncan, but that's it. No, you got to think that that they're gonna they're going to maybe even force the ball. He's not gonna play a lot of minutes, so that's why those those seventeen and ten numbers that I'm pre predicting are, you know, at plus money. But but I think they're gonna get him. They're gonna get him the ball. Maybe he only plays 20 minutes or so tonight. I think Gilo, Joe P's with you. He thinks he's going to sprain his ankle within the first four minutes. That'd, that'd be worst case scenario. But whenever he's on the court, you know they're, they're going to feed him the ball, try to get him going offensively. So I think he's going to have more than a dunk tonight, g -Lo. I'll I'll put I'll put I'll put the rent money. I'll put the rent money on on Zion more than one more than one good dunk over. I'll take that. I don't know what kind of, is he still wearing Nike? I'm sure Nike does not want that scenario to happen either. I think Nike, you Joe P, you know there's a rep, there's a Nike representative there checking shoes. You know that, right? There's got to be. They don't want that to happen again. There's a Nike rep, flew all the way out of Portland, sitting in a New Orleans locker room right now, inspecting like 10 different Zion shoes. Which one feels good, Zion? Are, th are these good? Run around with the, you know, a shoe technician like looking at all of the, uh, at all of the, the integrity of the shoe. Running it through tests, all that sort of stuff. Oh, there you go, John. Nice. A Tiger Stripe Giannis. That's pretty cool. Personal boxes are strong, folks. If you're not into group breaks, folks, you can go to our Instagram at Jaspies Breaks and you can watch our live personal boxes and you can buy them at jaspies.com. And group breaks will still exist here, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Hey, George, what's going on? Or George's, urologist, what's going on? I 
watching. Other NBA plays I have today for entertainment purposes only. Laying the double digits for the Lakers at New York. I think after, after sort of looking a little flat, looking very flat against the against the Celtics a couple nights ago. I think they're going to bounce back strong against the Knicks. I think Memphis has been playing uh, some really good basketball. They're plus seven in Boston. I think they'll keep it close. Maybe this is the flat spot for Boston after a, a, a pretty big win against my Lakers. Four more boxes here. Going Denver, or I'm going Chicago pick them. Chicago's at home. I think they're a good team at home. I think they can, they can win out, right, at pick them. I've got... Denver, plus eight, at Houston. I think Houston's been playing a little, uh, been on a bit of a cold streak, the Rockets. So I think I think the I think Denver is going to try to keep it close. They've got a strong team. I've got Joe P's, uh, Joe P's Phoenix, at Pick'em. Uh, don't look now, folks, but DeAndre Ayton, He's been playing some good hoop lately. Some good hoop lately. Uh-oh. Fred's worried about my obsession with the Bulls. Why? The Bulls are playing some good basketball. I've got I've got my 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 power rankings that, that puts the Bulls a lot better than you, you think they are. I think they're a pretty. I think they're a pretty strong team. Play some good defense. A little weak on offense, but they play some. They play some good. They play some good defense. They're right about where the Pelicans, Grizzlies, Suns, Trailblazers. They're they're in that sort of range. So against uh, the Bulls against Minnesota. Right, the Timberwolves are actually ranked a few uh, few notches lower than the Timberwolves. Timberwolves, only just a marginally better offense, weaker defense. And the Bulls have been a little bit hotter this week. So, at Pick'em, I'll take the Bulls at home. Worth the risk to me. I think they're one of those teams that have sneaky... Sneaky value, you know, facing certain teams. Sean likes the Denver plus eight. Yeah, I do. I do too. Yeah, Houston is a little, at least by at least according to Vegas, they're a little overrated. I mean, sure, Harden can go off at any time and and just blow out the Nuggets by double digits. That's certainly possible, but, but short of that, I think Denver are a good team too. I think they can keep it close. I think I think I have I think Denver and Houston I think are only really a couple points apart according to my rankings. So Denver getting eight, I think it's pretty good. Nick Brakes, does Phil Hughes ever visit your shop? Is Phil Hughes in in the Los Angeles area? Yeah, I didn't. I don't think he is. He in L.A. Is he? I know, but is he in L.A.? Um, we're talking about former baseball player Phil Hughes, right? Hmm. I don't know if competitors are going to be coming to our shop, Nick Briggs. Oh, he, oh he's in Laguna Beach. There's basically San Diego. All right. There's Josh Okoye. Oh, hi, Nick Laplan. Why, why did you change your name? 
Uh, Okogie goes to Bill and the Timberwolves. Are you trying to... What are you trying to... What, what are we doing here? Trying to confuse me. Can't keep track of that stuff. Otto Porter Jr. Green. Reggie Jackson. And Luka Doncic. There you go. Sensational swatches. Luka going to Bill and the Mavs. Well, I'll try to remember that, Nick. With your different username. I probably, I probably won't remember it. <laughs> but it's nothing personal. It's just my... My brain doesn't work that well with that sort of stuff. Amari Stoudemire, green. Shea Gilgis Alexander, and we've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Sensational swatch relic going to Chris and the Clippers. He's been playing some good hoops lately. There's Quinn Cook and Justin Jackson, rookie. Hollow, there's Luca and Jaron Jackson Jr. emergent. There it is, Luka Doncic. He's he's pretty good. Spencer Green, Gordon Hayward, and Marvin Bagley the third. Sensational swatches, Kings. That will be for Mark Matheson, Scott Sacramento. What Trader Joe's is? There goes that Trader Joe's sponsorship that we were lining up. <laughs> Should we get that Whole Foods money? What about what about that what about that Lazy Acre? Yeah, let's get that Lazy Acres money. Lazy Acres is great. There's Mo Bamba. Or... What? They've got carbonated beverages there. They don't? Oh, they only have La Croix. Uh, Orlando Magic, John Samuelson with the Magic. Their wine section is distasteful, apparently. They've got good. They've got good prices on 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 booze there. Chick Chick Fil A is pretty strong. What what are they building across the street? A hamburger place? Ooh, I've never been to a Habit. Are they good? I mean, I'm more of an In and Out guy. Wow, better than In and Out. Wow, that's there's 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 some blast blasphemous talk happening here. <laughs> Stefan Mar Marbury, we'll uh, randomize this to one person in the break. The points: George Hill and Bruce Brown. Wayne's wondering if is Amari still relevant in the NBA anymore? Is he? There's Bruce Brown, Pistons. That'll be for John Sodaro. Oh, Justin Jackson right there. All right, and the last bit here. This is a 10 box, half of a blaster case. Second half is already in the store. Jaron Jackson Jr., Sensational Swatches, Grizz, John Samuelson. Grizz have a pretty pretty decent team. In a couple of years they could be they could be really interesting, I think. Michael Bridges. Jerry West Silver. Al Horford, Trey Young rookie card, Kevin Durant Green, not numbered. Trey Young for John and the Hawks. 
There you go. Nice rookie card there in his emergent insert. We got Devontae Graham for Charlotte. That'll be for John as well. Sensational swatches. We got Jabari Parker to 25. Kevin Knox. Jabari Parker. Bulls, that's going to go to Chris. Chris Randone with that. Wilson Chandler Green. Devontae Graham. We got Colin Sexton Relic for John Sodaro. Sensational swatches, not numbered. And looks like that, my friends, is that. They're resting Patrick Beverly tonight. Got a lot, a lot of resting going on. All right, so now let's go back to random.org. Or let's go back to the list. Let's copy everyone's names here. And the name on top after 10 times, six and a four, we'll get the 250 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. I said 10, right? 10th and final time. After 10 times, we've got Ryan Redman on top. Little consolation prize for you, 250 points going your way. Uh, that was the 10 box blaster break, random team number three. That was a half of a blaster case. Second half is already in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.